going to show you today how to cut off these hinges. Now, I've reused these on several trailers, and a couple of them I've cut them off because um, I'm not going to use it. So, today I'm going to cut these off um, because I'm not going to use it. Um, this also works for any of the hinges, um, any any welds period really. What you do is only cut the welds, you don't want to cut the metal, just cut the welds. Oh, uh, face shield, uh, earplugs because it's loud, preferably long sleeves, uh, leather gloves, and I'm using, I prefer DeWalt tools. You can pick your poison. Um, it says DeWalt 20 volt uh, angle grinder. I'll put the links in the description. I prefer the bigger eight amp hour batteries just because you get a lot more work time out of them than just your, your normal batteries. Um, they are more expensive, but you get so much more work done um, when you've got a couple of those laying around. So I'm just gonna cut the, cut the welds. Just like that, it's off. So now, as you can see, I, if I wanted to leave that bar in there, I can just grind it down. I'll probably go ahead and cut that bar out too, but uh, just for demonstrating purposes, I went ahead and cut that off. So, now, as you can see, I only, I only cut the weld. I did not dig into the metal. On that or the hinge, I just cut the weld. Um, if you do get into the metal, you know it's not the end of the world. You can go ahead and go back and uh, build it up with a welder and grind it down flush. So there's a lot of options there, but that's uh, just cutting the weld. As you can see, the weld's not all the way through. It's just on the sides. So cutting those welds releases it, and it's uh, now it's good to go. All right, so here's another example. This bar was sitting up here. You know, those hinges, those hinges were actually welded on there. Well, I decided I didn't want the bar, so I cut the bar off. So I cut, there's three welds on each side. This top one actually went all the way over. So this is what I mean, all right? Cut the weld, it's not the metal. Cut the weld and not the metal. So see that? See it's scarfed off a little bit, but it is not cut. All right. Now, if something were to happen, like I mentioned before, if let's say I gouged this too deep, got it in the metal, I could actually come back with my welder and weld that up and then grind it all down. So I'll take my grinder and clean all this up. Uh, get rid of all that rust that was hiding back behind there. As you can see, corrosion just hides. It's a steel trailer, right? Corrosion's a matter of time. Corrosion is a matter of time. 